Hey guys, it's Matt here, and today we're going to be showing you how to build your own kind of micro operating system. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and paste the code that I have here, and let's go ahead and go over the code. Uh, it says bits 16 because this is the bootloader, so it has 16 bits in the operating system. Now it's going to start... Uh, doing the stack space after the bootloader and data segment and then we're going to start the first string and this is kind of like if you were doing another language it's sort of like calling a variable uh, but yeah right here is the jump uh, you'll learn that a lot in programming assembly and right here is our string titling as you see we made the string and we called it and right here we have our string itself which we can modify to say, I don't know, uh, hello world since that's a very common programming phrase. Hello world. And then right here the definition of print string. This was some random code that I made that you don't need. Uh, and here is get character from string. string. If it is, if this character right here is zero end of string otherwise print it so we got that and then pad remainder and the boot signature now with that we're gonna go ahead and save this what? as boot dot asm and I'm gonna go ahead and save that to the desktop now we have our boot dot asm okay we have boot dot asm right there on our desktop and now we're going to go ahead and head to the command line. It might help if I open up the terminal, not text regular. Now we've got the terminal open. And we're just going to go ahead and start. So you're first going to... Well, let me run through these commands. You know what? I don't even need to. Okay. So we're here. Let me open up note because I have everything in notes uh, okay just some random code I have in notes right here so we're gonna go ahead and first start with our NASM command now we're gonna go ahead and paste that in there but we're gonna go ahead and rename this to I don't know let's go boot dot bin and we're gonna go ahead and name this well, this is already the boot file, boot.asm. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that this goes to the desktop, just because that is where I would like to save it. I hope I do that right. And this should work. Uh, I need a little bit of a file. Oh, yep, I see my problem. Sorry. Uh, do not forget to put that. Oops. Put, put that there. There. Now NASM worked. And you see our bin file has popped up on our desktop. Of course, you have to have NASM installed for this to work. And this right here is just a bare bones Linux command. And I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and just name this boot.img. I'm going to save that to the desktop. Uh, whoops and we're going to be using boot.bin and this is a unix command and we're going to go ahead and put that there whoops did I do that wrong? oh yeah okay uh yep yeah. <clears throat> I seem to always forget that but don't forget to put your slashes Go ahead and boom that in. Boom. Boom. And we've got our boot.img. We can go ahead and put this stuff up there. It really doesn't matter. We've got our boot.img. Let's go ahead and open up VirtualBox. Oops. I messed that up. VirtualBox. And we're going to go ahead and nail. And uh, I'll be back as soon as the VM is done.
Okay, so we have our boot VM ready. Let's go into settings, storage. From here, we're going to have to add a new floppy controller, add floppy. And we're going to go ahead and click on that to choose disk. Going to go ahead and go to where you saved it, which mine's down here, boot.img. Press OK, double click to boot. And let's go ahead and see if it works. And it worked. Hello, world. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll leave the code uh, in the description and also the uh, website uh, that I followed to do this. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. So for now, peace.